A very good morning to you, crafty lot. Um, it's 10 a.m. It's I need to check the date on my um watch. It's the 28th of April. I keep forgetting what day day is or what day of the week is. It's the Tuesday, and we're gonna be doing the a rainbow flat spiral. I love flat spirals, so I'm really excited about this one for you. Um, the weather is not very good here where I am. I don't know how is it where you are. Um, good morning, Mina. Um. But I think we really needed the rain. My flowers in the garden, I think they're saying um, a big, huge thank you to the clouds because they were really dry as bone. So without further ado, let me just turn the camera around. So I put in the lighting ring so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And I will bring up your comments on my laptop so I can see what you, all your lovely um, ladies and, um, oh, well, I guess gentlemen are saying to me. Um, so let me just turn the camera around and in we go. Um, I love flat spiral. A flat spiral is again one of my favourite stitches. It's really, really easy to do. Um, more like a, I, I suppose it's like a beginner's um project as well. Let me just bring the video up so I can see your comments. There we go. Max that out. So has everybody been? Um. I'll th I have to say thank you for Sarah for the last couple of days doing um, the Facebook Lives. Um, she's so fantastic and she's so great. That, um, I think she can explain things much better than I can. But hey-ho, we can always learn from each other. So, the flat spiral. Now, the flat spiral, we had um, many different colours on the website like this one. This is um, sort of a limey, greeny one. But um, we had um, kids for these for quite a few colors. We have added some in the free download page as well. I think there's a purple one, a gold one, and a turquoise in, one in there. But last week when I sat down and had a little play with it, I love Miracle Beads because they give you that really lovely effect. So um, depending on how the light is hitting it, you can see a bead inside the bead and um, it comes in so many lovely colors. Um, of course, <laughs> I had to play it uh, a bit more colors than what I just had. I had um, set up a rainbow colors, which is your green, yellow, orange, red, pink, purple, and blue. But then I read, so what about if you did an ombre color, which is these colors are a little bit muted. Um, you Again, you got like a blue turquoise, uh, a turquoise, a bluey, a um, sort of a, a lilac -y color, a pinky, um, a white, a gold and a brownie colour. So you can play with it and you can do a loads of different things with it. I'm going to be showing you how to do the rainbow one and I'm going to show you how to sort of um, turn your colours into different segments because this one's a loop. Half of the loop is one colour and the other half of the loop is another colour. So that's what we're going to be doing. Let me just get this out of the way and I can get the materials in now before i start that let me just say hello to everybody um oh gosh there's loads of comments to you so if i don't read you out um please don't be offended i will go through the video afterwards and i'll be look at all the comments and um reply to you if you got a particular question so morning paula morning bethany morning morning maureen morning ned morning jan judy alicia um Morning Dot, Morning Jane, Camille, Angela, Debbie, Alison, um, Janet, Karen, Sheila. Good morning, Joe. Um, Joe saying, I'm so excited for these beautiful bright colours to cheer up a dull day. Yes, me too, lovely. Morning, Julie. Morning, Camille. Morning, Dean. Uh, morning, Lynn, Doris, Jan, Margaret. Um, oh, Margaret Mersop. That's... Um, Sarah's mum. Oh, she's saying they look beautiful. Oh, good morning, um, Mummy Millsop. Um, good morning, Paula, Doris, Chef, um, Antida, Linny, um, Lourdes, Jean, Zozo, Dorothy, Liz. Oh, there is loads of you here this morning. Um, so let's get started. Now I'm going to use seven different colours. Um, I just taken a few of my beads out of the bags because I didn't want to 
as you're working with seven colors. Don't forget you're working with two different sizes of miracle beads here. So you're working with four millimeter and you're working with eight millimeter as well. And you're working size eight seed beads. I didn't want to sort of empty the whole bags out here because then we would have beads everywhere, I guess. So you can set it up in a rainbow color, however you would like um, your rainbow colors to go. I like to start with the green, then I go into the yellow, orange, um, red, pink, purple, and then the blue, sort of. Um, but I suppose I quite particular with my colors as well, because when I'm doing other beading, um, like um, when I like love to work with all different colors and just sort of play with colors, um, I do like to set it up in a rainbow pattern or like a shady pattern if I'm working with the same colors, but I'm working with different, um, I'm sorry, you can't all see all seven of them, but the, the, blue, the purple and the blue is just here at the end. So I set my colors up. It's when you're working with something like this, when you're working with loads of different colors, it's really great to have either a larger bead mat or a bead tray or um, what I'm using here. This is just like a felt material. Um, I think they're about five pounds from the material shop per meter. And it's really great because you can just lay it out on your table and then you can work along um, the with your beads and certainly you've got a lot of space to to work with your beads and that's great and especially if you're working with loads of different things so how to start off the spiral you're gonna pick up two of the eight millimeter beads i'm gonna take them right down now in the spiral what we're creating here is if i put the finished sample here we always um as we're moving along we're creating little loops on either side of our larger beads so the pattern is exactly the same when you do your beading and as you go along so i picked up four size eight seed beads a four millimeter miracle beads and another four size eight seed beads i'm going to slide these down as well i hope you can see all right i will pick that's it i think i pulled it through yeah so we are not free right so you're going to take all your beads down all the way to the end now what you need to do is to loop the smaller beads around your larger beads so i'm going to come for my tail end and i'm going to go through the two eight millimeter beads again that's it so i just created a loop on the top of my two of my eight mils now i'm going to repeat this again on the other side because i want a loop on either side as i'm going up four of the size eight, one of the miracle beads, the smaller ones, and four of the size eight. And again, I'm going to come from the bottom through the two, both of those larger miracle beads and pull this up. So now I got a loop on either side. So this is what we're trying to achieve in every single step. And now, because we've got the loop around these two beads, we need to move along. So I'm going to pick up my third color but my third miracle beads are not color yet. I'm um, not changing the color yet. Take it all the way down. And now we're gonna create the two loops again, but um, instead of creating around the first two, we're gonna create around the second and the third one. But one thing you have to make sure with flat spiral, that when you create your loops, you always flap one to one side and you flap the other one to the other side. So I'm gonna pick up the same pattern again. I'm picking up four seed beads. I'm picking up a miracle bead and I'm picking up another, ooh, and I just dropped some, another four seed beads. So this time I'm gonna leave the first one alone and I'm gonna go to the second and the third one and pull that up, just like that. And I'm gonna create another loop to go on the other side. So again, I'm picking up the same four seed beads, one smaller miracle bead, and another four seed beads. So this is why this pattern is so nice and easy and it's perfect for beginners because you just pattern repeat the same over and over again. And just pull this nice and tight. Oh, come on, done. I 
think I'd taken a little bit longer thread than what I was. And that's it. There we go. And make sure one loop is to one side and the other loop is to the other side. Now, once you've done a few more of beads, added a few more beads and a few more loops, they will naturally sit that way. So now I got three of my green ones. I want to change my color. So I'm gonna to change to the yellow one and take it all the way down. Now, what I want to make sure, oh, is my knot back? Yeah, there we go. I want to make sure that um, I change the color of the loops as well. So the top part of the loop is going to have to be yellow and the bottom part of the loop is going to have to be green because it's going going with the green 8mm Miracle Beads. So I'm going to pick up four of the yellow ones. I'm going to pick up a green smaller Miracle Bead and I'm going to pick up four of the green seed beads and take this up. I just want to show you a couple more steps because I think this is when you change your colors. That's when it gets, um, that's the tricky bit, I guess. So as we can see, I got, just open this up so you can see, I got the yellow ones at the top and the green ones at the bottom. Let's do another loop to the other side Sorry, I can see there is loads of lovely comments are coming in. I will just give me a minute. I will do a couple more steps for you so you can see exactly how it is shaping up. And then I will read out the comments. And pulling the second loop up nice and tight. And that's it, we changed color. So for the next one, I'm sticking with the yellow one. So I'm picking up a yellow one. And now, because I'm putting my loop over the two yellow beads, the whole of the outside loop is gonna be in yellow. So I'm picking up four yellow one, a yellow smaller miracle bead, and another four yellow one. And take this through the two yellow miracle beads that's it and repeating it for the other side one two three four a miracle and another four and again i'm going through only the two yellow ones and bringing this up nice and tight again and you're going to continue adding your beads all the way up changing your colors as you go along see if i take the finished bracelet and put it next to it you're adding your loops to either side all the way up every third bead you're going to change your color now if you um do this three bead change your color every three beads so that's going to give you 21 of the miracle beads which is going to make about a seven and a quarter inch about 18 centimeter bracelet i did um, this this is sarah's size so the, the if you do it in in three miracle beads we always have a good laugh with sarah because she's got such a nice small wrist and i got a really chunky wrist so this is sarah's size and um with three miracle beads and for my size i did it with four so then it's going to give you sort of a 21 um, a centimeter bracelet if you use four now you when you're doing four you can cheat a little bit because if you need it just a tiny bit smaller actually i think the 21 going to give you 22 centimeters and i need it a little bit smaller so in the last two last sections next to the clasp i just added three but the rest of them is all four to fit me so that's it you're gonna keep adding your beads as you go along let me see all your lovely comments um morning paula annie um louise morning everyone i was making my first ever russian spiral and clover beads yesterday but just had to buy this one too it's beautiful so excited um 
yes so let me just show you uh, the page i showed it to you the um other day on the ipad and i think it was quite beneficial for some people so if you go on our website and you go into categories we got a category called a free uh, project which is if you click on that which is going to bring up this page the project free project download is there today i hope you can see it and you don't see too much of the glare of my um lighting rig so the free pdf download is there this is, uh, doesn't cost anything you have to click on that put in your basket check out and it will be emailed to you there is um, a couple of single bracelets starts at 585 up to eight pound um, some of the seed beads and then we created a couple of bundles now um, unfortunately at the moment there is a problem with our website so we couldn't get the pictures on there to show you but um, we created two bundles so the one of them is the rainbow one which is this makes seven bracelets so you get your um all your rainbow colors in there and the other one is the ombre one which is these sort of a little bit more muted colors um you get in there i love them both i guess there is no color repeated in the two kits so if you buy both of them you're going to have 14 different colors of miracle beads 14 different colors of seed beads and um different colors of clasps as well um there is two sizes of miracle beads there is size eight and not size eight i'm sorry eight millimeter and four millimeter and size eight seed beads in there as well so overall you're going to get 21 bags of beads and seven clasp in that bundle it's 29.99 on the website and you make seven bracelet but to be honest if you are Sarah Millsop size, a smaller size, you can make more out of it because this one is only 21 um, bead in here and in the bags there is 30 bags of the 8mm so you can make maybe another two bracelets, another two or three bracelets as you go along so it's worth um, adding an extra couple of um, this magnetic catches if you want, if you want to make more out of it. Um, Doris is saying, Kitty, to remember the rainbow, just say Richard of York Grave Battle in Vain, which is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Oh, I will remember that. Um, Sabe is saying, um, hi, Kitty and Sarah. Um, Doris is saying, Kitty, you are freezing. It's my view, your connection, lovely. Um, I'm... Um, is anybody else having problem with it? Sometimes I think I find there's a lot of people on the internet and then they are, um, you know, I, I think the more people using it, the worse connection, the worse speed you get um, sometimes. Um, but you're just saying hello to all. Uh, Margaret's saying frozen. Um, I'm really sorry. Um, Julie's saying not very pleasant here today. Um, yeah, the weather is... Um, quite overcast here as well, but the garden needs all that lovely flower of uh, uh, lovely water. The flowers need uh, to be watered. Um, Lord is saying, never realised how easy is this. Maria, Maria saying, got the aqua kit last week. Very easy going to make another on a different beads. Really enjoy these sessions from you and Sarah. Oh, you're very welcome, lovely. We really enjoy it as well because. Um, this is this is my interaction outside of the family with all your crafty lot and it's so great and this shows you the power of the internet that you can sort of interact with people in so many different ways and and facebook is great as well because you know you get to comment and then we can read out your comments and and if you've got any questions we can answer it or, or anything like that I, I just really love it it's, it sort of gets me out of bed get me up in the morning and um, put my makeup on get dressed um, and it's a nice start of the day if it makes me feel really normal although we're still working in the warehouse so we are working um we used to work every other day um, but we changed the shift pattern um last week because it was just sort of a little bit tiring that sort of one day here one day there and and when i was at home never really got everything done and through and when i was at work for one day never really got anything there done either because you were home the next day so i'm working monday tuesday wednesday every other thursday and the other crew is working um friday saturday sunday 
and every other Thursday. So we are there seven days a week picking your lovely orders. We are really busy at the moment, um, trying to keep everybody sane, making sure everything goes out as quick as we can. Although um, we've been told by the post office that they got like a three weeks backlog. I mean, I can imagine everybody's ordering stuff on the internet. So um, bear with us. Um, if you placed an order, it might take um, a few days longer to arrive this time, but normally would take because once it leaves our warehouse, it's really out of our hands and um, it's with the uh, post office, I guess. So I just changed the color again there and um, I added the four seed beads at the top and the other color at the bottom. And now as I'm going more into the orange, um, I'm only going to add orange loop on the top there. I got a little knot on this thread and it's keep getting caught. So when you get a little knot like this, which is like just a tiny one, but it's enough to get caught on your beads. What I usually do is to stick one needle right in the knot from one way. I mean, this one is quite tight because I suppose I kept pulling it through. Let's try from the other way. And then you need to pick it apart like a little, um, with another needle. Go in there. No, sorry, I have to bring it up to me so I can see better what I'm doing. I think once this, this is all over, I need to go and get my eyes checked for um for glasses. Because some of the beads, especially when I'm working with size 15s, they look so, so small. Did it come out? No. I mean, this has to happen, isn't it, when you're live? something bad to happen don't you get a knot oh never mind i'm going to leave it and sort it out later so that's how easy it is to do the spiral itself um if anybody got any question or anybody um wants me to show um any of the steps again um Mary's saying, can we have this rainbow beads, please? Yes, it's on the website. Um, you can buy the miracle beads separately. They come in little bags, but uh, we did a rainbow bundle, which is um, seven colors of eight millimeter, seven colors of four millimeter, and seven colors of the seed beads as well. So you can make a truly a rainbow bracelet because I know some of the designs when you're using the same color seed beads, so I could have used a clear seed bead going all the way through like we did with the spiral staircase and the crystals um which is which is fine and it, it still looks great but i think when you change the seed beads as well it, it makes an even more of a rainbow finish and i love i love this one as well when when you change the bead on every single turn and um you just do the one color on the loops and it just really sort of going backwards and forwards with the colors i really love that one as well and then we created an ombre color as well because you know me i can't stop myself just to sort of working with so many colors i have to have them all um there's no color is the same in the two bracelets so if you actually if i show you in this one and this one you can see the better there's no color repeated not even in the seed beads in the two bracelets so if you buy the, the two of the bundles on the website you're going to have 14 different colors of miracle beads in two sizes and 14 different colors of seed beads as well um it's just a really great way to um i guess spend some time at the moment and make up lovely bracelet um Hi Kitty, the rainbow or the colors are using? Yes, they are the the colors I'm using here. That's the rainbow one. That's this this the rainbow bracelet one, and the ombre one is a little bit more muted. I guess they're a little bit softer colors as well. So you can still do like uh, um. Uh, uh, that's why I call it ombre because the colors are a little bit paler and um. I don't know, I like them both. When I was making up the ombre one, I, I thought, oh, I definitely prefer the ombre one. And then when I was making up the rainbow one, I thought, oh, well, actually, I prefer the rainbow one. And I went back ahead to make another sample of the ombre one. And I thought, oh, no, actually, I prefer the ombre one now. So I guess um, they both, they, they both look really great. Um, Marian saying, how do you stop them flipping over once you get to the end and attach the clasp? 
Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to attach the clasp on this end for you so you can see that as well. I'm just going to take a little bit of thread off the bobbin there. We don't need much on this side and grab a needle. You know, the other day I was looking around um, in my office and I couldn't find a straight needle. They were all bent, so I have to bring some home from work. Um, let's thread this quickly. So I just need to bring it a little bit closer to me so I can thread the needle and um, see it properly. So we're going back to this end. Just give a bit more. I'm going to need one, two more formulators here. So to do the end, um, what we need to do is to add an extra little loop and when we add that loop, we're not going to go straight to the clasp itself. We're going to go through some of the seed beads from the previous loop. And what's that going to do? They're just going to force the loop down underneath it. So as I am here at the end, just get my, that's it. As I'm here at the end. Now, when you're doing your ends, you're going to have to add the little loops on one side, on one end of the bracelet. And on the other side of the bracelet. So you're gonna to have to flip it over and that will keep your loops nice and straight. So as I'm exiting my last bead, I don't wanna add any more beads here. I just want to add a clasp. Sorry, I'm gonna to have to grab a clasp as well. What color shall we put on? I'm gonna put a nice gold one on there. Sorry, I wobbled the camera there, I hit the light. So as you're coming out of your last two um, miracle beads, you did, just did your last loop, you're gonna go through the loop on the clasp. This is why these are great, these magnetic clasps, because the loop is already on there, it's already closed. And then we're gonna come back through, so we're just coming out of it through the loop and then coming back through just the last bead, just like that, and you're gonna pull this up. Now I'm gonna pick up three of the size eight seed beads and i'm going to pick up one of the miracle beads and as you look you see we added these loops in the previous steps i'm going to go through the two seed beads just before the class and the loop on the class as well so that way i added a little loop on this side which is will force down the loops behind it then i'm going to just sort of slightly turn it i'm going to go through, as I went through the loop on the clasp, I'm going to go through the next two seed beads. I'm going to pick up in reverse. I'm picking up a miracle bead first, and then I'm picking up three of the seed beads. And I'm going to come back down towards that last bead, sort of just adding the loop, the last little half loop, I guess, to the end of my bracelet. And again, that will force the rest of the loops down in line. Now, as I'm at the end, I'm gonna go through just the loop on the clasp. I'm not going through any of the beads. I'm pulled it up tight and take my needle back up. I usually take up two or three beads, just like that. And I'm gonna do a one thread knot here. So to do a one thread knot, I'm just catching the thread here between the two larger beads. I'm not going to any of the seed beads or beads, just catching the thread. And I'm going to pull this through. Now, as you can see, there is this little loop appears. And before this loop would disappear, I'm going to go through this loop. And as I pull it tight, you can see there's a little knot forming on my thread. And then I would take it through another bead and do another knot. Or, you know, you could do two or three of them to be really secure. Um, with your ends and then just cut the end off or bring it to the middle and you can um, obviously tie the two together, your tail end and your working thread end um, later on when you finish your bracelet. But that's really how easy it is. So adding those little half loops just forces the rest of your loops just to sit nice and sort of just to sit, sit down and stay down, I guess. Um, don't say in, can't make up mind which one to get now. So let me just show you again. These are the rainbow ones and the ombre ones 
I'm going to put them on because the magnetic catches, you know what they do. They just sort of try to stick together. Oh, try to stick together and then um, they're not going to be nice and straight. So this is the ombre one. Come on, come on, that, that's it. This is the ombre one. The ombre one is sort of a little bit more muted colours, um, softer pastel colours. And this is the rainbow ones where you get your stronger colours. And this is why I said they stick together. Um, you get your stronger colours and um, they're in a rainbow finish. So it's not along. You're getting seven different colours of the miracle beads, but you're getting seven different colours of the seed beads themselves as well. To giving you a truly a rainbow finish. I think it's just really lovely. Um, it probably takes me about um, an hour to make a smaller bracelet, um, maybe 50 minutes if I put my mind to it, and um, maybe about an hour and 20 minutes to make a longer bracelet. So it's not um, a really, sort of, it's, it's not a, a very long make. But you get 30 beads of the size eight, uh, of the, I keep calling them size eight, it's like eight millimeter miracles. Um, 60 of the smaller ones in your kit so it's enough to make more than um, seven bracelets I guess especially if you're making the smaller sizes you're going to get much more out of it if you got some clasp at home toggle clasp would do as well but you're going to have to extend the bar end on one side so you will be able to close it and open it I just love the magnetic clasp because they're so easy to take on and and to put on so that's it really, um, I'm not really sure, like, you know, it's so easy, there's not really much to to um, show you with them. Um, Maria's saying, thanks Kitty, this, that's helpful. Um, Net, Net is replying to somebody, you must be on the notice step. Mm. But I wonder what was about, I will read all the comments and um, after video and reply to you as soon. Um, these are so pretty. Love the colours of the ombre. Thank you so much. These make-alongs, they're really helpful. Oh, you're very welcome, lovely. Precinct picture the last um, four days, but don't know if Facebook or Wi-Fi. I don't know. There's uh, quite a few people had problem with freezing. I think it's because there were so many people at home. Um, you know, they, everybody's using the internet at the moment, especially if you've got children or grandchildren um, with you, they definitely will be on the internet and um, using it. Um, Sheila is asking, if you buy the bundle together, would you be able to make seven different colors? Wait, said, absolutely. So you don't, and, and you're still gonna have a few beads left over to do a rainbow one as well, if you wish. Um, you could do the colors, I'll show you in this one, you could do the colors separately. So you could make a blue one, you could make a purple one, pink one, red one, orange one, yellow one, and the green one separately. So the whole bracelet would look like um, just sort of a single color like this one one and um, you could do that as well and you would still have a few beads left over to do rainbow ones as well if you like or you can make seven rainbow ones it's just up to you um, what you really want to do um, with them this is what I think the beauty of it and we're trying to put the kits and bundles together for you so you got the flexibility as well that you can design some of your own things as well and take even further and it's so nice to see what you can make with it and um, do post pictures on any of our groups I know there's loads of your members in the um, We've got one which is called Totally Handmade by Totally Beads. Loads of your members in there and posting so many lovely pictures. It's so, I suppose, rewarding for me to see that we can inspire people. And um, you, and then it's so nice to see as well that you, you do do your own take on there and do things sort of your own way. And it looks really, really great. Um so that's it for me today. Um, it will be me tomorrow. I'm going to show you how to do the um, a looped mesh necklace. I haven't got one at home because I'm at home at the moment, but I will be going into the office soon. There is a picture on the events page um, on Facebook. I also added, I'm going to be adding what we're going to be doing next week. So you can have a little bit of warning, you can have a little bit of look what we're looking. So if you need certain materials, you can... Um, you can get them out and make along 
um, on the day. Do check out the website, do download the PDF. So go on there, put it in your basket. It doesn't cost any money, um, but check out and then it will be emailed to you. And um, check out the bundles as well. Sorry, there's no pictures, but I have showed you which one is the ombre and which one is the rainbow one. Um, you can get the single ones as well, but obviously they will work out more money. So with the bundle ones, you can make loads, loads with it. And um, I suppose it would keep you occupied for quite some time as well, which is great at this time if you want the um, the time sort of to go faster um, these days if you're at home and isolating. So I hope I'm going to finish um, my bracelet and then post a picture on it later on. Um, I hope everybody's staying safe uh, at home and um, everybody's okay. Um, do share the video as well so your friends can get the free PDF as well today if they like because it's only up there for 24 hours and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!